थैंक यू सर इज माई स्क्रीन विजिबल लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन आई एम डिलाइटेड टू बी हियर टूडे एट दी ए आई हैकेत ऑर्गेनाइज बाई ए आई एन आई सी ए आई टूडे आई हैव द प्रिवलेज टू प्रेजेंट यू द यूज केस दैट एग्जिम्पलीफाइज द पावर ऑफ ए आई दैट मे सरप्राइज सम ऑफ यू वी ऑफन एसोसिएट ए आई विद कॉम्प्लेक्स एलगोरिथम्स एंड फ्यूचरिस्टिक टेक्नोलॉजीज बट समटाइम्स the most impactful solutions are the ones that are quietly embedded in the everyday tools i am talking about the power query a feature nestled with excel that might seem dull at first glance but its capabilities are far reaching and transformative today i'll de i'll demonstrate how power query can streamline a process that is traditionally time consuming and labor intensive imagine you are an auditor Tasked with verifying multiple PDFs containing uh, tedious challenges, maybe something uh, for either PSUs or uh, corporate companies, uh, which have n number of challenges uh, in a particular month or uh, in a, uh, every year. Each PDF represents uh, uh, details like challenge dates, amount, section, etc. And manually verifying all these PDF challenges together can be a tedious task. Not to mention the potential. for human error increases exponentially with the sheer volume of documents but with the help of query, uh, power query <clears throat> and with its remarkable ability to combine and consolidate data from its multiple sources including pdf files into a single excel sheet the task of verifying tedious challenges becomes a breeze so let's quickly uh, demonstrate uh, the simplicity and effectiveness of this process so uh, One second. Uh, can you see the uh, folders having multiple challenges of TDS? Yes. 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 so uh, imagine uh, you have these number of tedious challenges to be uh, verified whether the uh, the company or the psu has been uh, deposited the tedious challenge within the due date or not so manually verifying uh, opening each uh, tedious uh, uh, pdf file and uh, verify whether the challenge has been deposited within the due date or not it is it's a tedious task but with the help of power query we can automate this task and see uh, uh, whether the challan has been deposited within the due date or not so to demonstrate this i'll just open excel and go to this get data from file and then i'll select from folder i'll select this tedious challan folders see everything uh, every tds file has come uh, uh, for a preview now we have to combine and transform this data see here uh, three tables and one page are coming so table number no. one contains this uh, uh, details of uh, all the you know section number amount and uh, the date and the bsr and all second table is the uh, this uh, tax and the uh, other bifurcation of amounts and <clears throat> if we select page then all the details will come so if we if we want to select the uh, to check the dates we can select only the table one for all the pdfs we'll click okay now you can see the all the uh, tds challans has come and their uh, the first table that uh, contains the details like tan number name assessment year and all if you want to select only the uh, check the only uh, only the date of deposit 
you can filter it out date of deposit press okay and close and load it is extracting the data see uh, there were around uh, uh, so 28 chalans were there whose date of deposits are shown in a single line item. So you can check it out here, whether the uh, TDS challenge has been deposited within the due dates or not. So for the TDS, uh, the due date is 7th of the following month. And here you can see at a glance at, at once that all the challenge are paid within the uh, due date of that is 7th of uh, the following month. So that way we can uh, uh, shorter our time while checking the multiple uh, challenge. I have showed the uh, UK use case of TDS challenge. Uh, likewise, we can uh, also check the GST challenge, PF challenge, PT challenge, CSA challenge, and all the challenge we can uh, verify whether they have been paid within the uh, due date or not with this power query. You all might be thinking that uh, this is an Excel feature and not an AI, but um, I would like to tell you that uh, uh, Excel uh, has the ability uh, to, you know, uh, that all the uh, many AI features are embedded in the Excel itself. So uh, this is uh, one of example of AI in Power Query. In that we can uh, uh, shorten our time. Or uh, that's it from my side. Uh, um, Shantanu, I think a very good presentation of uh, Power BI, uh, good use, and especially something related to TDS, which is probably a pain point for all the chartered accountants. As far as AI is concerned, you yourself said that it's automatically inbuilt in the tool. So yes. basically what is a full use of Power Query. Power Query, I think, is a very strong feature of Excel and one should acquire that knowledge. That is, uh, I think, the takeaway. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, my word. Oh. Yes, sir. Hello, Shanta. Hi, sir. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. I like the presentation. But I'm just, just thinking uh, what are the options where we can just evaluate these combinations in different segments, basically. Okay. It's one of the applications. Can you elaborate on that front, basically? Uh, in I didn't understand your question, sir. Please. Uh... What are the different verticals of the chartered accountancy where we can explore this, this feature, actually, in a much better way? Okay. Uh, apart from this integration like i said sir uh, various uh, uh, types of challenge and uh, uh, so power query has a feature which can extract the table from the pdf so uh, if you uh, going to convert a, a pdm pdf into excel from online uh, software tools the formatting will not that be good uh, if you and uh, if you have a data in a PDF, any data in a PDF which has which contains tables, with the help of Power Query, you can uh, extract in the uh, Excel, sir. So, so we can also extend to any for any sort of graphical presentation also for this, or just restricted to table. Uh, no, sir. Power Query uh, can fetch uh, multiple uh, from multiple sources. So uh, we can uh, fetch the data from tally also. And uh, oh, no. number of other graphical presentations also. Graphical, I, I have not uh, tested yet, sir. I don't know actually for okay. the graphical. Yes. Okay. Got it. No worry. Thank you. Nice presentation. Thank you, sir. Uh, yeah. It was a good presentation. At the same time, you explain a different feature from Excel perspective. But I think there are certain restrictions which Mayurji was trying to just figure it out. Uh, is this is only going to fetch the data when the data is actually in the crafted format, not in scanned format. If the data is scanned, this this Excel feature uh, will not be able to accept data from those PDF. And similarly, when it comes to other formats, which is pictorial formats and all, uh, not possible at all because Excel is only a data analytics tool, which is from uh, actual data, not from scanned or image related data. It will happen. Fine. But uh, the simple concern out here is that 
if there is certain sort of flaws or discrepancies in this data, then what will come up uh, as an outcome will be a challenge. So I think uh, any tool from Excel needs to be tested first on some or the other test data, and then only it should be applied to uh, the real time data of yours so that you can check the authenticity of it. Yes. Right. And for doing so, I believe you need to also tell or you need to also incorporate some testing techniques of uh, checking the authenticity of these tools. See, tools are craftly perfectly, but the data which we are talking about, this is in PDF format or maybe in other formats like Word, Excel and all. So incorporating testing techniques will make your presentation and your tool more efficient. And I think every chartered accountant directly using the tool, the testing is important for them to sense from themselves side what is the authenticity of the tool. Correct? Yes, sir. Agreed. Please make sure that whenever you are present you. next to someone else, incorporate the testing tools also. Okay, sir. Thanks. Thank you. I think uh, the presentation was good and I think the question has been already asked by uh, on the thing. Only thing which I would like to give a feedback to you uh, is I think PowerPoint is a great tool. But, you know, because what has happened is, as, you know, Sarah sir also said, why don't you see the other options which are there available right now to do the same task in a better thing? Uh, many times what happens, we see a, two, a solution or a thing and we got a little bit, uh, you know, working with that. Because today, the client expectations are always very high and that is something which was requested. That's only a feedback. I think that's the other thing. Thank you. Sure, sir. Thank you.